Hello everyone! According to Insider, China currently possesses three aircraft carriers, the Liaoning, the Shandong, and the Fujian. While the first two are aircraft carriers based on old Soviet designs, the Fujian is equipped with the most advanced technology, including an Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. In a video released by Chinese media in September, the Fujian aircraft carrier used Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System to assist in the takeoff of J-15T fighter jets and KJ-600 early warning aircraft. This is considered a significant milestone for Beijing, because although the United States operates 11 aircraft carriers, only the USS Gerald R. Ford is equipped with Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. A fundamental difference between the two countries' aircraft carrier fleets is in propulsion, as all three of China's aircraft carriers use conventional engines, while all 11 of the United States carriers are nuclear-powered. However, there has been some information that Beijing is developing a next-generation nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. In early October, China introduced the new generation J-35 fighter jet, specifically designed for aircraft carrier operations. According to the manufacturer, the J-35 possesses optimized stealth technology and is equipped with a dual-mode takeoff system, compatible with both electromagnetic aircraft launch system and traditional ski jump methods. Currently, the J-35 is still in the testing and refinement phase, so the main weapon of China's aircraft carrier fleet remains the J-15 fighter. The upgraded J-15T version has significantly increased its payload, helping the Asian Powers Navy enhance its combat power. In addition, China's KJ-600 early warning aircraft is also highly regarded, comparable to the United States E-2D Hawkeye, Eye in the Sky. On the United side its fleet, it primarily uses F-A-18 Super Hornet, E-A-18 Growler, and F-35 Sea Fighter jets. Compared to China's combat aircraft, the United States Fighter Squadron's combat capabilities have been proven through numerous missions. In addition, each United States aircraft carrier strike group can deploy 60 to 70 aircraft, larger than China's numbers. According to observers, practical experience is the biggest difference between the aircraft carrier fleets of the United States and China. In fact, Beijing has only been familiar with operating aircraft carriers for over 10 years, and the voyages have mainly taken place near the coast, without long-term missions. Another issue is the personnel to serve the fleet. Although Beijing has invested heavily in training technical staff and aircraft carrier sailors, this process takes a lot of time. Defense expert Brian Clark said, Beijing currently does not have enough personnel to operate multiple aircraft carriers simultaneously. Some positions, operating catapults or recovering aircraft on aircraft carriers, are still handled by senior officers, showing that experienced forces are limited. Basically, China cannot shortcut on this issue as it can with technology. Unlike China, the United States has over a century of operating aircraft carriers, participating in all kinds of engagements from World War II to the Middle East. The United States Navy has a systematic training system, clear operational doctrines, and is constantly performing missions in hotspots around the world. Another important issue for maintaining an aircraft carrier fleet is maintenance. While the United States has developed a global logistics network, China is still learning how to handle the wear and tear of aircraft at sea and how to resupply far from shore. According to Chinese media, the country's newest and most powerful aircraft carrier has used new electromagnetic launch equipment to successfully launch three types of aircraft, marking a technological breakthrough. The United States Department of Defense said that this year's exercise between the United States and Canadian navies in the Gulf of Alaska included the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln. China is focusing on developing an aircraft carrier fleet to narrow the capability gap with the United States Navy. So, what do you think about the advancements in China's aircraft program? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.